I'm here today with Nick Horween, fifth generation owner at Chicago's Horween Leather Company, where they've tanned the world's finest leather since 1905. Nick, thanks for having me. Sure. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna take a walk through the factory and find out how to make some leather. Sounds great, let's do it. So each one of these mills holds between 400 and 500 half hides. 400? Yep, half hides. Half hides. Half hides. It's a cross between a bourbon barrel and a washing machine. All right, take me to this big blue palace. So after we've tanned the hide sort of in the more modern way, uh, when I say modern, I mean like 150 years old. <laughs> right. Uh, they end up this blue color, and that's really from the chemical reaction that's, that's caused by introducing the, the chrome salts into the leather. This is traditional vegetable tanning. There's, well, there's actually leather there is. in this. It's all it's just tree bark extract. Why don't you grab that side? We can actually lift it up and out. So all the hides right. just hang out. Oh, wow! And they just hang down, and they'll, they just generally absorb the tannins from the tree barks over, over two months. That is so cool. Have you ever gotten in trouble in here? No. Doing what? I mean, I don't know. You ever screwed anything up? Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's, it's part of learning. <laughs> it's true. Now where are we? So we're right now in color and retan. This is really where the proprietary four ween stuff happens. All these formulations were developed in house and this is really what makes our leather what it is. We still use tree barks and we use beef tallow and lanolin and beeswax and things oh. that tanneries don't use anymore because they're difficult to control and they're expensive. So the human element is really important. Could you have switched it up and used cheaper things, maybe something synthetic? We could have, but it wouldn't be the same leather. Why not? Just because the materials, I mean, it's, they're, they're better. I mean, the materials are better. So do it once the right way. Exactly. It's more like cooking than science. Got it. Oh, that's a good way of putting it. What are these? These are the horse butts that were vegetable tan and a fish This is a down. whole butt? That is a whole horse butt. So, so you can see that this half has been shaved. It's really smooth, and this half we haven't processed yet. Got it. How does he know when he's done? Experience. We only have three guys that can do this job. It's very, it's very difficult. It's all done by eye and by foot. Very cool. Beautiful leather. So this is basketball leather. Basketball leather. This is one of our spray machines. We're adding color. Wow. So what are all these leathers used for? This is all football leather that's hanging to cure. Really? That's pro, uh, pro level. So like the ones you see on TV? Exactly like the ones you see on TV. Very cool. Talk to me about like what it's like to work with your hands the way that you do. It's really rewarding. I mean, it's nice to it's nice to make something. You know, it's good to see something you know start one way and then end it's completely different. Totally. Uh, it's even more rewarding to see you know what we're making is just a component. Go to our customers and then see it in the finished product. I mean, that's really that's really the ultimate reward. For more on Halloween, join me at basilhaydens.com and check out whiskey, among other things. Cheers. Cheers.